So they give test two test marks. First test is 70, second test is 75, third test they have not given, I assumed X. Average means what? Sum of the marks by number of tests. X plus or higher value, X plus 2 should be smaller than 10. If X plus 2 is less than 10, then X will be definitely less than 10. Or average, if average is more than 90 or 90, then she will get A grade. They want mean average. How to find average of marks? Add all and divide by number of tests. So three tests are conducted, marks are given. First test mark is 70. I can take, uh, see solution is less than 10. What is the other integer less than 10? But they should be greater than 5, they told. Other odd integers, even integers. Welcome to the session, dear students. In my last class, I taught you problems on inequality. In today's class, we'll solve problems of inequality which are word problems of the exercise they'll give words or sentences we have to convert it into inequalities to solve so now they have given problem number 21 in the exercise ravi obtained 70 and 75 marks in the first two unit tests so 70 marks in first and 75 in second find the minimum marks he should get they want you to find minimum marks he should get in third test third test so that so that to have an average of at least 60 you should have an average at least 60 means you can get average 60 or more than 60 so what they are asking you to find minimum marks in third test so assume let x be the let x be the minimum marks in third test minimum marks in third test in third test is our assumption so now whatever is given we'll write it as an inequality average how to find average of marks add all and divide by number of tests so three tests are conducted marks are given first test mark is 70 and second test is 75 third test we don't know x average means sum of the marks divided by number of tests how many tests they give three this is average Average should be at least 60. Means average should be 60 or more than 60. So average should be greater than or equal to 60. This is an inequality. Reading the problem and writing this inequality is important. So they give test two test marks. First test is 70, second test is 75. Third test they have not given, I assumed X. Average means what? Sum of the marks by number of tests. And it should be at least 60 means 60 or more than 60. So that's why I should use greater than or equal to 60. Now you know how to solve this. So transfer 3 to that side. So now 70 plus 75 becomes 145 plus x greater than or equal to by 3 greater than or equal to what 60. Transfer 60 to that side. So 145 plus x greater than or equal to 60 into 3. And that is 145 is greater than or equal to 63 is a 60 into 3 that is 180 now plus x sorry 145 plus x so i'm rearranging 63 is 180 solve for x transfer 145 to that side so x is greater than or equal to 180 minus 145 simplify this so x is greater than 180 minus 100 is 80, 80 minus 45, so 45. In the third test, you should at least get 6, 45. So if he gets 45 or more than 45, then his average will be 60 or more than 60. They used at least 60. At least 60 means average should be 60 or more. So he should score 45 or more. So how much minimum marks he should score? Therefore, minimum how much he should score? 45. So for minimum marks, minimum marks Ravi should score Ravi should score is score is equal to 45 Ex minimum he should score 45 so that his average will be at least 60 or if he scores more than 45 average will be more than 60 that's it so the minimum marks required is 45 I hope all of you understood how to solve how to solve read it and write the inequality and solve the inequality first you should convert the word to what inequality next to receive a grade one must obtain average of 60 
So A grade means average should be 90. Sorry. To receive A grade, average should be 90. If you get 90 or more than 90, you are A grade. So now marks in 5 examinations, each of 100 marks. If Sunita's marks in first 4 examinations are 87, 92, 94, 95. Find the minimum mark Sunita must get in fifth exam to get A grade. To get A grade means what? To get average 90. So, fifth exam marks they are asking. So, assume let X be the marks scored in fifth exam. Marks to be scored. Marks to be scored in fifth exam. Fifth exam. To get A grade. To get what? A grade. A grade means what? To get an average of 90. So now average. All of you know how to find average. So some of the marks. What are the first marks? 87 plus second marks 92 plus third marks 94 plus fourth marks 95 plus fifth marks. We don't know X. We need to find. Average means what? Some of the marks divided by 5 because 5 exams should be greater than or equal to what? 90. Why 90? Because if she gets more than 90 or 90, her average will become what? Our average, if average is more than 90 or 90, then she will get A grade. They want minimum for marks for A grade. So, I will take average should be greater than or equal to 90. Add this carefully. 80, 90, 170, 177, 179. 179 and 269, 273, 273, plus 95, 273, 363, 363 plus 5, 368 plus x by 5 should be greater than or equal to 90. So now creating this, oh, you know how to solve this, transfer 5 to that side. If you transfer 5 to that side, 368 plus x greater than or equal to 90 into 5 becomes 450 and x is greater than or equal to 450 minus 368. So, x should be greater than or equal to 82. So, now if she scores, if Sunita scores minimum 82 marks, she will get a grade. More than 82 also, she will get it. Uh, what is it? A grade. So, means minimum she should score 82 marks in the fifth scale. So, therefore, minimum marks to be scored, minimum marks to be scored, to be scored is equal to 82. If she scores minimum 82 in the fifth test, then her average will become 90. Then she will get A grade. So, reading the question and framing inequality is most important. So, next question, find all pairs of consecutive odd positive integers, they want odd positive integers, both of which are smaller than 10, both should be less than 10, such that their sum is more than 11. See, assume the consecutive odd integers, let x and x plus 2, odd numbers differs by what 2, what are the positive odd integers 1, 3, 5 like that, so they differ by 2, be the consecutive odd integers, be the consecutive odd integers, this is our assumption, then they told both of which are smaller than 10, both of which are smaller than 10 means if x is smaller than 10, x plus or higher value, x plus 2 should be smaller than 10. If x plus 2 is less than 10, then x will be definitely less than 10. So, or that implies x is less than what? 8, if I rearrange. So, one inequality I told. And sum is more than 11. Sum means what? x plus, x plus 2 is the sum. Should be more than 11. Strictly greater than 11. Solve it. So, x plus x is 2x plus 2 greater than 11 or 2x greater than 11 minus 2 or 2x greater than 9 or x is greater than strictly greater than sorry greater than 
9 by 2. You know, 9 by 2 means what? X is greater than 3.5. So now, I have to select X, which is an odd integer greater than 3.5. What is an odd number greater than 3? 5. So, the pairs are 5. And X plus 2 is what? 7. So, it goes on. I can take 5, 7. I can take 7, 9. And you know the numbers, both the integers such that smaller number should be of which both of which are smaller than 10. So, I have to take less than 10. So, here I cannot take the next number. If I take 9, the pair will become 9 and 11. 11 is not allowed because both of them should be less than what? Both, see, they mentioned here such that their sum should be greater than 11. If you add, sum should be greater than 11. And each of which, each of which should be, this is a told, consecutive integers, both of which are smaller than 10. So, smaller than 10 odd numbers means 5, 7. What is 7 plus 5? 14, greater than 11. 7 plus 9. And other pair is 9, comma 11. I can't take 9, comma 11 because both of them should be less than 10. So, stop it. So, the answer is what? 5, 7 and 7, 9 are the pair. Next, we have... I have to select always x less than 7. So, x less than 8 means 7. 7 and here x should be less than 8. 7, 9 I can take. And less than 8 means I can take 5, 7 also. If I take other pair 3, 5, 3 plus 5 does not exceed 11. So, when I solve, when I solve, I will get x5 and x plus 2 will be 7. And then I can take 7 and next pair like that. Next. Here, find all pair of consecutive even positive integers, both of which are larger than 5. So, even positive means x comma x plus 2 be the numbers, be the even numbers, be the numbers. This is our answer. And uh, they told both of which are larger than 5. If first one is larger than 5, second one will be definitely larger than 5. Then their sum is less than 23. Means x plus x plus 2 should be less than 23. Solve it. So, 2x plus 2 less than 23. 2x less than 21. You transfer that side. So, x should be less than 21 by 2. x should be less than 10 point. So, you know, 2 1s, 2 10s are to 10 point 5. So, take the numbers less than 10 point 5 and they should be even positive integers. So, I can start x as what? 10. If I take x as 10, I can take x plus 2. x plus 2 becomes what? 12. 10 and 12. So, if I add 10 plus 12 is 23. One pair is 10, 12. And other pair, I can take, uh, see, solution is less than 10. What is the other integer less than 10? But they should be greater than 5, they told. Other odd integers, even integers. What is the even number? Because they told the word even. Even number, that is 8 and 10, I can take. I can take 6 and 6 plus 2, 8. These are the pairs. I will get 10, 12. So, but x should be greater than 5. Any value greater than 5 you can take. What are the integers greater than 5? So, greater than 5, I can take 8 and 6. 6, 8, 8, 10, 10, 12. You add them, it satisfies the conditions. This is the way to solve. Next. Consecutive means what? x and x plus 2. Next, we have the longest side of a triangle is three times the shortest side. And third side is two times shorter than. Shorter than the longest side. If the perimeter of triangle is 61, find the minimum length of shortest side. Please understand. We'll assume they compare. They are comparing everything with shortest side. So, that's why let us assume X be the shortest side. Let X be the shortest side. We'll assume x is the shortest side then whatever is given longest is three times shortest so longest will become what 3x so longest is 3x shortest is x and the third side is 2 centimeter shorter than longest so, 3 times, sorry, see here, longest side of a triangle is 3 times shortest. So, longest is 3x. And they told the remaining side, you know, triangle will have 3 sides. x is shortest side, 3x is longest side. And the third side is 2 centimeter shorter than longest. 
सो थर्ड साइड इज थर्ड साइड इज देखिए ऑफ द कंडीशन वॉट इज द कंडीशन थर्ड साइड इज थर्ड साइड इज टू सेंटीमीटर शार्ट देन लॉन्गेस्ट वॉट इज द लॉन्गेस्ट थ्री एक्स टू सेंटीमीटर्स शार्ट एर मीन्स माइनस टू सो नो ए गॉट थ्री साइड्स एक्स थ्री एक्स देर फोर साइड्स आर वॉट आर द साइड्स शार्टेस्ट इज एक्स लॉन्गेस्ट इज थ्री एक्स अदर वन इज टू टू सेंटीमीटर्स लेस देन लॉन्गेस्ट सो दीज आर द थ्री साइड्स यू नो पेरीमीटर पेरीमीटर मीन्स वॉट सम ऑफ द साइड्स पेरीमीटर शुड बी अटलीस्ट सिक्सटी वन पेरीमीटर शुड बी अटलीस्ट सिक्सटी वन मीन्स सम ऑफ द साइड शुड बी सिक्सटी वन आर मोर देन सिक्सटी वन अटलीस्ट मीन्स वॉट दट मच आर मोर देन दैट सो पेरीमीटर मीन्स वॉट सम ऑफ द साइड्स एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस थ्री थ्री एक्स माइनस टू पेरीमीटर ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल मीन्स एड ऑल द साइड्स एक्स थ्री एक्स एंड द अदर साइड इज वॉट थ्री एक्स माइनस टू सम ऑफ द साइड्स इज पेरीमीटर शुड बी अटलीस्ट सिक्सटी वन मीन्स इट शुड बी इक्वल टू सिक्सटी वन आर मोर देन दैट नो यू सॉल्व दिस एक्स प्लस थ्री एक्स इज फोर एक्स फोर एक्स प्लस सिक्स थ्री एक्स इज नाइन एक्स एंड सॉरी थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स एक्स प्लस वन सेवन एक्स माइनस टू ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू सिक्सटी वन सेवन एक्स इज ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू सिक्सटी टू गोज दैट सेट सिक्सटी थ्री एक्स इज ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू सिक्सटी थ्री बाय सेवन एंड एक्स शुड बी ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू सेवन वन ज सेवन नाइन ज सो दे वॉन्ट यू टू फाइंड मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ शार्टेस्ट एक्स इज शार्टेस्ट शार्टेस्ट इज ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू नाइन सो देर फॉर मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ शार्टेस्ट इज मिनिमम लेंथ ऑफ शार्टेस्ट इज नाइन एक्जैक्टली ग्रेटर दैन आर इक्वल टू नाइन मीन्स मिनिमम लेंथ इज नाइन एक्जैक्टली then नाइन सेंटीमीटर सेम मेथड हियर ए मैन वॉन्ट टू कट थ्री लेंथ ऑफ अ सिंगल पीस ऑफ बोर्ड ऑफ लेंथ टोटल लेंथ इज नाइनटी वन ईज हैविंग अ बोर्ड ऑफ नाइन्टी वन मीटर सो दैट बोर्ड इज नाइन्टी वन मीटर लेंथ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक इट थ्री पीसेस एंड दिव अ कंडीशन वॉट इज द कंडीशन द सेकेंड लेंथ इज टू बी थ्री सेंटीमीटर लॉन्गर देन शार्टेस्ट सेकेंड वन शुड बी थ्री more than shortest third one is third one is uh, length of the and the third length is to be you know we have done 25th same method you apply to solve 26th problem in your textbook they gave a board piece of 91 cm they want you to cut into three pieces they gave about third side so use and solve it and become thorough i'll uh, I am repeating. Twenty-fifth question I have done. Similar twenty-sixth is there in your NCERT. Hint is also given. They have given sides also. Read it carefully and solve by the same method. I'll see you in my next session. I hope I'll complete. I hope all of you will complete twenty-six by same technique. So now we are done with the first exercise of linear. Second exercise of linear inequalities. That is six point two. We'll go ahead with the other exercises. Thanks for attending. Thank you.